What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video, one that people have asked me to make, people that have been kind of expecting me to make, uh, and that is my opinions on Call of Duty World War 2. Now if you guys obviously know I have not been active on my YouTube channel lately and that's mainly because I am actually graduating May 20th or 21st, Jesus Christ I should probably know uh, when I'm actually graduating, but I am graduating later this month which is crazy so I've been super super busy with all sorts of uh, final projects and tests and papers and all this stuff that's just been absolutely nuts uh, right now it's the 7th uh, of May so I'm like so, like so close I have like one more thing to do for all my classes and then I don't have any final exams or anything so I'm like this close to being done and then I get to move into a new apartment I'm getting a new car so like life is changing really really fast for me and I haven't been uploading but people have asked me hey I want to know what your thoughts are on Call of Duty World War 2 like what do you think of the game are you excited for the game so I figured I would make this video for you guys uh, the ones that have like actually been waiting for me to upload the ones who actually care about my opinion on this upcoming game this is for you guys and it feels good to be talking to the camera to be talking to you guys again because this is something that again I haven't gotten to do much for months now so anyway let's just jump right into it so obviously you guys know sledgehammer and michael condry i believe is the the guy that's on twitter for that uh, development studio you know they've all been they've finally announced that call of duty world war 2 is the next call of duty you can go into gamestop right now and pre-order it uh, i don't know why my shoulder's so itchy so please ignore it um but that's going to be the next Call of Duty. We're going back to World War II. It's going to be just like, you know, the old days of Call of Duty, where, like, the first, I don't know if you guys played the first one, two, three, the first three Call of Duty plus World at War, those were all World War II, I believe, um, which is absolutely crazy that we're going back to the actual roots of Call of Duty. Like, this is literally Call of Duty started in World War II, so this is the roots of Call of Duty to its very finest. And that's something that's really cool, you know, um, I didn't play too much of, I didn't play Call of Duty 1 at all, I don't believe, um, at a friend's house a little bit, but I didn't play that one, I, I bought Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 for the PS2 back in the day, I played that, and then I played Call of Duty 3, and then I played COD 4 on 360, and it's history from there, I played the rest, uh, but, you know, I didn't really play too much of, um, online for World at War, Actually, I didn't play any online at World at War because then I switched from Xbox to PS3 and then by that point I just didn't play it. Um, I'd only played Zombies, so I didn't play any online World War 2 games for Call of Duty. I didn't play any of the online for COD 3 or anything like that. So this is going to be new to me. This is weird because I, I played COD 4 back in the day, but I never played World at War online. So. This is going to be new for me, like I said, you know, this is exciting, um, but it's not something I'm nostalgic for, you know, like a lot of people are nostalgic for the World War II Call of Duty. Um, for me, I spent the most amount of time on COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops and things like that. So that's what Call of Duty is to me. So the nostalgic thing, like, yes, I'm super excited that we're going back to World War 2. I'm tired of all this fucking futuristic double jumping, you know, alien shit like I don't give a fuck about any of that I'm super excited that it's gonna be World War two and not something else um, because you can't really fuck up World War two and I say that and I need to like knock on wood because they're gonna fuck it up somehow and I like that's part of the reason I'm making this video but um, yeah so as far as the actual content of the game as far as the actual setting I'm, I'm totally cool with World War II um, I, I'm excited I think you know maybe the, the guns might get a little bit boring that's something I'm worried about that you know how much variation can you really have on the guns from back in the day I just don't want to see a bunch of like um, you know bolt action or semi-automatic rifles like the M1 Grand and the Springfield and all those guns like those are kind of boring guns to me at this point um, but you know we're just gonna have to wait and see I, the M1 Grand is like a staple like it's probably gonna be in there um, and it'll probably be pretty good but you know I do prefer like fully automatic to uh, three round burst guns in my Call of Duty's I'm never really the guy running around with like the FAL or something like that so uh, you know I just don't want there to be too many of these you know uh, semi-automatic rifles that dominate the game um, and as well as sniper rifles and stuff like that but that's a whole topic for another video we'll wait for the multiplayer reveal trailer um, the other thing and like with the only at this point the only thing we have is the actual uh, campaign reveal trailer where they just revealed hey we're making Call of Duty World War 2 um, based on that there's no you know they've been very emphasizing very much that there is no boost jumping in the game 
um, or that it's a boots on the ground experience, which is really, really awesome. And that's something that I'm all for, you know, I'm all for boots on the ground. I don't want double jumping. I don't want any of these, you know, futuristic movement, any, any of that shit. Um, but I will say that the game needs to still be a little bit fast paced. Um, and I think there's a very, very fine line between Call of Duty 4 and, uh, you know, Advanced Warfare. Like, there's a huge gap between those two games, and finding the right middle ground is so hard to do. Uh, and Black Ops 3 almost did it. If it weren't for such uh, verticality in the game, I would say that they, they had it really close. Um, but, you know, so for World War 2, I don't want to see a COD 4 type of engine. I don't, that, that's very outdated. The game feels old, the game plays old, the game plays slow. Uh, and we're used to faster pace Call of Duty's. Now, again, don't confuse that with boost jumping. I do not want boost jumping. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, but I want maybe, you know, the maps to be slightly smaller than COD 4. The movement speed, like the default movement speed and the default running for your characters needs to be maybe a little bit faster. You know, things like that. I do want the game to be a little bit fast paced. And I actually did see a uh, Drifter's video where he took a, uh, a, uh, a video clip from the reveal trailer that showed a soldier kind of like moving off to the side with a you know blur effect and it kind of looked like a like a dash movement type of thing um so there's that so there is some speculation that there is going to be some movement mechanics in call of duty world war ii besides just walking uh, and running and jumping and mantling you know uh, there's there might potentially be some sort of like dodge option or some sort of like swift uh you know sidestep type of movement which i wouldn't hate that as long as the enemy is still within frame for a decent amount of uh range between you and the enemy you know um so there's that and, and we'll see if that actually gets confirmed we'll see if that actually is a thing and if it is we're gonna have to see how uh, dramatic of an effect that is and if it'll play that big of a part in the actual multiplayer experience because as you guys know I don't play the campaigns anymore I haven't played it the campaign since I don't even know I think maybe I played a little bit of ghosts campaign but besides that I haven't played the campaigns I really am not a first-person shooter campaign type of person if I'm gonna play the campaign of a game it's got to be like an RPG or something it's got to be something that I can Im immerse myself into customize my character and explore the world that's that's how I that's the type of games that I play the campaign for not a you know a shooter first-person type of thing like I played Halo back in the day I played all that stuff I played COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 all those campaigns they were good um, but but there's only so much you can do before you get tired of shooting at the, you know the computer over and over again so I'm only caring about the multiplayer and the zombies modes and mainly just multiplayer a little bit of zombies I'm kind of into zombies uh, I was a lot more in World at War and um, Black Ops but especially Black Ops but uh you know a, a lot less since then but yeah so I'm interested to see how the movement is going to play out. Like I said, I want it to be faster than Call of Duty 4, but I don't want boost jumping. Um, and then this little uh, sidestepping dodge mechanic, if it is confirmed, like I said, we don't know for sure. Um, if you guys want to check it out, if you haven't seen Drifter's video somehow, uh, definitely go check it out on his channel. So that's all good to me. The movement, hopefully they get the movement down right. And I'm sure, you know, Call of Duty is very, uh, they always emphasize the fluidity with which you can move around the maps you know their chain based movement system that they've used in the past two or three call of duties if they keep that without the boost jumping and stuff then that'll be decent you know maybe run and sliding like as long as it's not too far maybe that's not bad i don't know um so we'll have to see what they do with the movement but again the verticality of the double jumping is really what fucks with me and i and i hate that so much and the fact that you can go to diagonals in different ways and all that that's just terrible so i'm super glad that that seems to be like it's completely gone and that this will be a full-on boots on the ground experience back to the call of duty roots that we started with and that's really really awesome i also think that they need to have really strong kill streaks now i know that um they did say that this game could potentially be it could it has the potential to have uh, i believe 24 versus 24 online matches uh in some sort of ground mode fashion or something like that and if that's the case that leaves the option to have really good kill streaks that can make the game really fast paced and really fucking fun uh, and that's the call of duty that i fell in love with and i think that there's a huge opportunity here with world war ii to have pretty awesome 
big kill streaks you have tanks and you have airplanes and all this stuff you know so i think we could have a really cool uh kill streak lineup with dogs and maybe dogs can come back that would be awesome you know so these are the types of things that i want to see and i'm hoping that they actually have good kill streaks i haven't had a good fucking kill streak since like black ops 2 dude like <clears throat> it's it's really bad i mean there was one um the one little customizable drone thing you could fly around in advanced warfare uh, and you can have like the rocket attachment or whatever that thing was pretty fucking cool um but besides that you know the the kill streaks in mon or in black ops 3 didn't really care for them the kill streaks in advanced warfare besides the one i just mentioned didn't really care for them ghosts don't give a fuck about them um like the juggernaut suits and fuck that i don't even care about that so hopefully shit we haven't had a good fucking kill streak lineup since like Black Ops 2. That's amazing. It's been forever. You need to bring it back, Call of Duty. Like literally think about it. Like Black Ops 2 is widely considered one of the greatest Call of Duties you've ever made, if not the best by most people. And that's something that that is in the game. So if you're afraid to put in like these super powerful kill streaks, just look at Black Ops 2. Look at it. You've got like what the Reaper and shit and the the swarm and the dogs and all this like or the loads no the load star is in fucking Oh, the Reaper, I think, is in Modern Warfare 3. The Lodestar is in, in Black Ops 2, I believe. I don't even know, but there's just so many good kill streaks. So that's something we need to see here for World War 2. You know, World War 2 is known as being like the one of the biggest fucking wars that humankind has ever been in, as far as like modern war. Uh, so you, it's known for its brutality and its destruction and all this. So you need to have, you know, some crazy, crazy kill streaks and also. World War II was when we dropped the nuke, so, like, please put the fucking nuke back in, that was amazing, that was, like, the one reason that I played Modern Warfare 2 so much, is because I wanted to get those 25 kill streaks and I wanted to get the nuke, so, like, like, if you don't put the nuke in this game, I don't understand, like, this is, this is the only game that makes, this makes the most sense for there to be a nuke, uh, so you have to put it in there, and I know Sledgehammer did the DNA bomb or whatever the fuck in Advanced Warfare, so they'll probably have something similar in this one, unless they're afraid of disrupting the community, but I really want this game to be more fast-paced than Call of Duty 4, and I want it to be more fun with killstreaks, you know? Uh, that's something I've been saying, I've literally been saying that for years now, with these types of videos, like, oh, wishlist for Infinite Warfare, wishlist for Black Ops 3, like, I've been saying this for literally years now to you guys. I want good kill streaks, and you have not delivered. Uh, the the Call of Duty has not delivered to me for this specific aspect. So, you know, the, again, I'll say it again: we need fast, good kill streaks uh, to make pubs fun again. You know, pubs are not fun to me because everyone's trying hard to be a pro player, uh, and sometimes, and most people don't fucking want to be a pro pro player. They're not good enough to be a pro player, and they have no interest in dedicating that much time into the game. Uh, and there needs to be pro player support but there's a playlist for that you know what i mean like there can be a playlist for or league play where you can go and be competitive but for public matches it would be awesome to have some kick-ass fucking kill streaks so i've talked about the setting of the game i've talked about the guns the movement the kill streaks all that stuff like i said there's nothing really confirmed right now uh, for the game besides what we've seen in the reveal trailer uh the other thing i want to touch upon is uh women in the game i know michael condry or whoever uh confirmed that you can play as a woman on multiplayer and a lot of people were kind of freaking out about that because they're like oh you know women didn't actually fight in world war ii you know so this is not uh an accurate representation of world war ii and you know they're kind of just blaming call of duty for being social justice warriors or or, or feeding into uh or giving into the um request of the social justice warriors by including women because it is technically uh inaccurate to have that many women on the battlefield you know again drifter made a video about uh the historical accuracy of women in world war ii and some women did fight uh, but it was super super rare so to have all sorts of women fighting in this game would be unrealistic uh, but my perspective is i don't really give a shit because at the end of the day it's it's a video game and if you want to play call of duty world war ii and if you want to pretend like you are in the game 
tons of women gamers uh, are going to be forced to play as men, and that's kind of stupid. And I'm not even I'm not even saying this from like a social justice warrior standpoint because I do agree that it is inaccurate to have women in there. Um, but at the end of the at the end of the day, it's just a video game. If a girl wants to play this game and feel as if she's a part of the game, she should be able to play as a woman character because it's just a video game. You know, in the campaign, maybe ha maybe it make it just men just historically accurate that makes sense to me you know but the multiplayer experience is a customizable personalized experience or at least that's how i feel it should be uh and if you want to play as a woman then who cares you, you know if you want to play as a fucking orc it, it doesn't make that much of a difference as long as we can tell who's on what team um but you know as far as the customizable nature goes um i'm obviously kidding about the orc thing you know i don't want there to be rainbow colored helmets and you know all this goofy shit you know if you're gonna make there's gonna be supply jobs obviously so if you're gonna have all this extra loot at least keep the color scheme similar to the game you know i don't want to see a fucking giant squid tentacles and like blues and electric yellows and a fucking pink neon pink flower shits like I don't just N none of that okay and I don't even have to say it, but variants, don't fuck the game up with variants, don't ruin, like as soon as we find out there's going to be variants, no one's going to fucking want to play it, so don't do that shit, okay? Don't put the final nail through Call of Duty's coffin by putting in variants, which you will, but I don't even know. So. I guess to answer your question guys, am I excited for Call of Duty World War 2? There's not enough information for me to be excited about this. And I know they revealed this uh, trailer and they've been emphasizing boots on the ground and they're hoping that that is enough to start the hype. And it actually is, you know, it is enough. I'm interested now. You know, if they had announced fucking Call of Duty Ghosts 2 or Advanced Warfare 2, like, I wouldn't give a fuck. But instead they announced Call of Duty World War 2, and that's a big deal, and that's awesome. Um, so, it piqued my interest, but it didn't get me excited, you know? Uh, will I pre-order the game? Probably. Probably. Just because I know myself, um, and, like, I'm probably gonna buy it. I've bought all the Call of Duties on release day for years now. Um, so I'll give it a try, and I pray that it's good. Uh, but I'm not necessarily excited for the game right now, uh, just because, like I said, we don't know anything about multiplayer. Um, if like I, the, this whole video has basically been speculation and what I hope it turns out to be, but like I said, we don't actually know. So I'm not necessarily excited, but I'm a little bit more optimistic now than I would have been if they announced Advanced Warfare 2. Uh, so that means that they're trying to listen. Call of Duty is trying to listen. They're years late, but they're trying, and. Um, maybe they can get it right who knows you know this is this is important for sledgehammer and call of duty in general if they don't get this right if they don't get this game right you know if they don't if they don't fix what uh advanced warfare and black ops 3 and infinite warfare especially fucked up then it's probably going to be one of the last call of duty games i mean i know that that, that they still sell well but it's been a decline and most you know people just are sick of Call of Duty in general so they're hanging on by a thread in my opinion uh, and they need to get this right they really do so who knows I hope the game is good I am happy that uh, sorry there's a pop up here I am happy that it's World War 2 and uh, that it looks like there could be maybe some sort of faster paced gameplay here uh, than Call of Duty 4 and uh, what else is there announced? I don't think there is anything else. So my hair looks like fucking insane right now. Uh, it's 12:37 in the morning. I need to just edit this really, really fast and go to sleep because I'm been I yawned like a million times here. Half the jump cuts that are in this are just because I had to stop to yawn or cough or some shit. Um, so I'm really tired. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And what I would really love is if you could comment down below telling me what you think about World War the Call of Duty World War 2. Let me know if, if you're excited for it or if there's any rumors that I missed in this video, which I'm sure there's plenty. Uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to respond to all you guys. And you know, if there's any questions you have for me, I'll make a follow up video. I'm totally down for all that stuff. Um, and hopefully uploads will be a little bit more regular now that school is ending. 
Um, I can't really promise anything until I move, which I have to be out of this apartment by June 1st, um, which means I'll probably move the 25th or something like that of this month. So um, two weeks or so, we'll see. Uh, but I have plans for this YouTube channel. I meant it. I did not quit. I meant what I said. I have no intentions of quitting. Um, I have my degree in marketing now, and I've been doing social media marketing for the company that or the business that I work for. Um, and I'm looking into getting other jobs as well. So with all of that, I'm considering getting a DSLR camera. I want to upgrade my setup. I want to upgrade my desk. Um, and in my new apartment, I'm only going to have one roommate instead of two, so there'll be more quiet things. It'll be quieter to film and shoot stuff, and, you know, I have plans for this YouTube channel. There are upgrades coming. Uh, there are more videos coming. You just, I've been, like, thank you for your patience, and I know more than half my audience probably left in this time, um, but that's fine because I have plans and methods to grow the channel again or continue to grow it uh again and um that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching i know this is the first upload i've had in a long time but i really appreciate you coming by and and watching it and hopefully you'll drop a like on it if you want and like i said comment down below telling me what you think about call of duty world war ii uh and that is pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon peace